Hey everyone, it's Gem and Jess, and in this video I'm going to be answering some diamond painting tag questions that the amazing Laura, aka Anxiety Art Adventures, has tagged me in. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you're not, then welcome back. I am so appreciative of being tagged, especially by Laura. I mean, of all people, the woman who I like literally obsessively watched when I first started this craft chose me um, almost a year later after like watching her all the time to do a YouTube video. So I'm super stoked. Thank you so much, Sugar. I'm so grateful. Um, in case for some reason you've never heard of her or have seen her videos, please do. I promise you will not be disappointed. Her link to her channel will be down below in the description box, okay? Um, so while I'm going to be answering these questions I got that I got tagged to answer, I'm going to be working on my canvas Lady Moth from Diamond Painting Factory UK. Uh, the Diamond Painting event, Drills and Chills 2021, is officially on and cracking, and so this is the canvas I'm doing for that event. Okay, so I'm going to um, start answering these questions um, while I am doing this. Let me get a color real quick. Um, I should have thought of that. I'll just do 310. I mean, why not? <laughs> I hope everyone is having a great day today. If you see me talking smack or oops, acting like a crazy person, it's because there is this annoying fly that will not stop flying around me. And it never fails. I will try all day and all night sometimes to kill a fly, and they always escape. Like, I can never get it right. See, there it goes. Get the hell out of here, dude. All right. So, I'm going to start answering these questions. Um, I believe that are all diamond paint related. There's five of them. Okay. So, I'm going to start now. Uh, let's see here. I wrote them down, because of course... I can't remember anything, let alone five questions I'm supposed to answer. Oh, shoot. Come on, little guy. Go over there. Okay, so the first question is, what is your favorite completed canvas? Um, oh my gosh, this was like kind of hard to choose. Whoa, I'm such a mess. <laughs> Let me just drop the drills. This was kind of hard for me to choose, but not that hard, um, as opposed to some of the other questions. <sighs> Honestly... I'm thinking Ancient Heart by Dreamer Designs, like I am obsessed with that painting that I did um, and I'll put a picture of it here so you could see what it looks like or what it looked like when I finished it. Um, that is from Dreamer Designs by Reagan Kubik, the artist I believe, and it's either between that one or Iberian Hecate from DIY Moon Shop. Um, because I love, and I'll show you a picture of that here too. Um, I did that for my mom and she finally got it. You know, I only sent it like almost a year later, but, um, I love doing that one too, but I chose Ancient Heart because it was like less complicated. Like I really wanted to make my mom special. So I had to like customize it and all kinds of stuff. So yeah, definitely Ancient Heart from Dreamer Designs is my favorite completed, um, diamond painting. So the next question is, a diamond painting I can't wait to start that is not part of an, an event. That was really, really hard, way harder than the first question to decide because um, I have so many canvases for one and for two, like I can't wait to start almost all of them, but um, if I had to choose, I don't know, I think if for now anyways, it would probably be peace, love, and Peace Love Paisley, um, and that's a canvas from Diamond Art Club, and it has like a big peace sign in the middle with like the Paisley print around it. it. And I ordered a bunch of special beads or drills for it, so I actually am really excited to start that canvas. But it is huge, so I'm I really want to take special time to it. So I don't know when I'm going to be starting it. Probably not till next year, to be honest. But yeah, so probably that one. Okay, the next question is. Oh, and I'll show you a picture of the piece Love Paisley from Diamond Art Club uh, right here. Just in case anyone was curious t to see that, there it is. Okay, so next question is, what is your favorite diamond painting artist? Oh my gosh, like, 
this was really really hard i have so many um like I, I literally couldn't i couldn't pick just one i'm sorry i don't know if that's allowed or not but just like uh anxiety art adventures i couldn't do it so um i had to think about it for a while too i i came up with like the top ones with um the first one i believe would be maria abignali from treasure studios art like i am obsessed with her artwork um like no matter what i feel about the company or or it don't matter it, even if it had a double-sided tape and it sucked i would have done anything in my power probably be to still get those canvases just because i mean, not saying they suck or anything but like i just have my issues you know with them and um but i love her artwork so much that like i probably will end up ordering every single one of her images from that company because i'm so obsessed with her artwork it's just so bright and beautiful um and i also came up um because i couldn't really choose like i literally had to pick three it would also be tanya shotseva i think she changed her name though from diy moon shop um i have almost every single one sorry fly every single one of her uh canvases or images canvases whatever as well from there um she does like i think pop surrealism or something uh some type of art but like it's just it's different it's it's kind of dark but it's like beautiful at the same time i'm just like obsessed with her artwork and the last one would be probably i really love gretel lesky i think that's how you say her name from distracted by diamonds um like obviously i like to do cartoony images if you've been following me so definitely um those would be my top three if i had to choose and that's like that was still really hard for me to choose like i couldn't really decide it took me a while but if i had to do like landscapes or something probably carolyn Steele. she has like images from diamond art club and dreamer designs i think she might have maybe some more somewhere else but those are the two that i know of for now she has beautiful landscapes and like ocean pictures and yeah so probably her if i had to choose like landscapes or something but Okay, next tag question would be, what event are you most looking forward to? Um, honestly, well, drills and chills, like, I know everyone was like, oh, all excited for it and everything, but I just, it kind of like, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I was kind of bummed because they're also including um, adult coloring and like cross stitch, like more art, or more art, more crafts for the event, which like makes it harder for people to win, which like, not saying I'm like greedy or anything, but it's just like, that kind of like made me less excited for the event and plus it's already on and cracking so um i guess i would have to say no start november which i don't know if she's still doing it but i hope she is uh diamond painting with abigail marie um because i have so many canvases like i really need to finish and catch up on so probably no start november if it is still happening which i hope it is like i said okay um and the last tag question was what diamond painting goals do you have between now and the end of the year? <laughs> um, probably finish as much uncompleted diamond paintings as possible and no more buying any more new diamond paintings until n the new year because, and I can't even like do that. Like I literally gave myself a break like on my notes and I put, um, you may buy one <laughs> because I'm such a rebellious person like I will if I tell myself okay Jessica you can't do this anymore no 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 I'll literally go out and do it like either that day or the next day like I'm ridiculous I have the most rebellious stubborn personality it's even when I'm telling myself not to do something like don't get in a stranger's car oh hi nice to meet you yeah no I've never seen you before yeah oh uh, can you give me a ride all right cool like literally that's what I'll do so definitely no more buying new paintings slash except for one if anything um and finish as many uncompleted paintings as possible so that would definitely be my goals between now and the end of the year um so yeah just a little quick short video uh so those are my answers to the diamond painting questions that laura i mean uh sorry anxiety art adventures tagged me in and again thank you so much sugar you're so awesome i love you um, and again, I'll put her link to her YouTube channel down below. And I'm also going to put the links to the people now that I am tagging down below so you can check them out as well. So now I am going to tag uh, Jamie and Nicole from the YouTube channel Bella Art Day Nicole and Amber's Diamond Painting. I'm sorry if I said the channel name wrong. 
it's hard because I just call her Amber, but um, I'll put her channel down below as well. And if you uh, have been tagged already, either either one of you, I apologize. Um, I haven't been, you know, paying attention. Um, my life has been crazy lately. So yeah, I'm tagging you guys now. So hopefully you haven't been tagged yet and you can now answer these diamond painting questions. Um, I'm so stoked to be a uh, part of this tag video question challenge thing. Um, so thank you guys to whoever is watching. I hope you liked and enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!